Welcome, in this video we are going to learn Telnet brute force login attack in Metasploit using Telnet login module. The Telnet login module will take a list of provided credential and a range of IP addresses and attempt to log in to any Telnet servers it encounters. Let's open up terminal, type msf console, let's load the Telnet login module, type use auxiliary for slash scanner Telnet, Telnet underscore login. Type info, here you can see that Telnet login module information. Let's see some basic options which are used for brute force attack on target PC. Blank password, try blank password for all user, brute force speed, how fast to brute force from 0 to 5, DP all credits. Try each user or password couple stored in current database and so on. This auxiliary module allows you to pass credential in a number of ways. You can specifically set a username and password. You can pass a list of username and a list of password for it to iterate through. Or you can provide a file that contains username and passwords separated by a space. You will configure the scanner to use a short username file and a password file and let it run against our subnet. Let's set option value. Type set our host 192.168.0.13. Here I created some random username and password saved in desktop. Set pass file root desktop password.txt. Set user file root desktop username.txt. Let's set workbox mode option as false. Print output for all attempts. Type show option. Here you can see all required option values are set. Let's execute it. Type run. It will attempt all username and password to hit Telnet again and again until login becomes successful. It seems that our scan has been successful and Metasploit has a few sessions open for us. Let's see if we can interact with one of them. Type sessions. Here you can see session is opened here. So that's it in this video on Telnet brute force login in Metasploit. Thank you for watching this video.